Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to share five key things to think about for baby-proofing your home. Whether you're planning far in advance, good for you, or just trying to keep up with your suddenly mobile young one, these insights and product suggestions are for you. You'll find helpful links to the products we mention and some additional suggestions that come to mind of products we personally use or find helpful. With that out of the way, let's get right into it before your kid wanders any further. Number one, DIY or outsource? Your first decision is, are you going to buy everything yourself and DIY the install or hire a professional? If money is no object and you're short on time, then sure, go ahead and hire a pro to take the burden off your shoulders. For most parents and caregivers, to be honest, this is something you can do yourself. Let's just say we are not going to win any Handyman of the Year awards, but we had no trouble ordering and installing everything ourselves, including learning to change power outlets. So, unless you're really strapped for time and have extra piles of funding, our suggestion is generally to go do the do-it-yourself route. Number two, power outlets and outlet covers. This one just sounds scary, and well, for great reason. Outlets can be dangerous, like really dangerous. Option one, buy a pack like this of cheap plastic things that you stick into outlets around the house. Pros, inexpensive, easy to put in, do it and forget it. Cons, not necessarily the greatest aesthetic maybe, and these can end up in mouse. You can also replace outlet covers, so they have what look like little shields or doors hiding the outlets themselves. If you're a bit more ambitious, you can consider replacing the outlets. We bought a multi-pack like this of child-resistant outlets and replaced the most critical ones first, then cycled around to the rest of the house. If you're at all uncomfortable about doing this type of work, you should of course hire a professional. For surge protectors or other outlets that you want protected, here are two more options that we have in our house. One fits over an individual outlet, kind of like a box, and the other is sort of like a shoe cover for a surge protector. Both have been fine for us and were very easy to put in. Number three, cabinets and drawers. Obviously, you need to baby-proof areas of your house with sensitive things, like cleaning products, dangerous or sharp objects, or anything else you don't want ending up all over the floor. The basic standby is a package of locks that kind of look like plastic arms and legs. These work okay, but you can't miss them and it may conflict with your decor. One way to go for cabinet locks and drawer latches is a magnetic solution. You generally stick the lock inside your cabinet or drawer, and to unlock, you hold up a magnet. This is what we use, and it's convenient, was pretty easy to install, and looks good because it's hidden. One thing though, make sure you don't lose the magnet key. Though if you do lose one, you can of course use another from a different lock, so I guess the guidance is don't lose all the keys. Here's a tip. Strategically keep one or two cabinets open, unlocked, that have things that are safe for your young one to explore. Maybe a drawer of Tupperware that you don't mind cleaning up hundreds of times. It's a good training opportunity to emphasize that some cabinets have dangerous things that are off limits, while others are perfectly okay for baby to open. Number four, doorways and stairs. You may need a baby gate or multiple of these to keep your kid from going up or falling down the stairs, or keeping them in or out of rooms you want to contain them to. This means one or more baby gates. This definitely warrants its own video. And believe me, we tried a number of solutions before landing on two different styles of gates, one at the top of the stairs and the other for the bottom. For the top, we didn't want to risk failure, so we did have one that screws fully into the wall. For the bottom of the stairs, it was more about discouraging climbing, so we were able to get away with more of a tension rod style. Number five, doors and corners. Pinched fingers, scratched toes, dented foreheads. Yep, that's the reality. And what is kids' fascination with those spring door stops? Here are a couple suggestions in this category we found useful. For doors, you can attack the problem with a door handle cover, or you can also use these pinch guards. 
We have these guards on a few places, like bathroom doors and other rooms our kids use from time to time. They take less than two seconds to put on and can really easily come right off. But for their own rooms, where they're going to be inside and using every single day, we like this solution, which is kind of like a protective strip that runs the length of the door crease and prevents it from closing on fingers. It's easy to install and offers good protection. Keep in mind though, it's an adhesive install, so not as simple to change out. To end the madness around door stops, yes, they make rubber versions without springs. We have them placed throughout the house. For sharp corners and edges, we tried a variety of things and settled on this style of silicone bumper. They're affordable and easy to put up. Keep in mind though, that some of ours have started to fall as the months and years have gone by, especially now that we're using them with our second. We also use this table guard for a round table and it worked out great. So there you have it. Sure, there are probably many more things you could do to make your house even more baby and injury proof. And maybe you want to, and that's cool. But think about the need to balance basic safety with the discipline of teaching your kids what to touch, where to go, and not touch or go. It's a balance that you need to figure out because you don't want your house on lockdown any more than you already need to. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything new. Here's to all you safety-minded parents out there.